Good morning and welcome to this tutorial video from ST Microelectronics. I am Andre Vitali, Sensor Ecosystem Manager in the Internet of Things Excellence Center in Santa Clara. Today I'm going to use the Sensor Tile Development Kit. We will see how to use the inertial MEM sensors and verify their performance. MEMS stands for Microelectromechanical System. The inertial sensors are the accelerometer to sense linear acceleration and the gyroscope to sense the angular velocity. We will also have a look at the magnetometer because it is often used in combination with the other two sensors to get the device 3D orientation in space. A short introduction to the sensor tile. The sensor tile is a reference design, an evaluation tool and a development platform. The sensor tile is a tiny square shaped module. It is only 13.5 by 13.5 mm. This module packs a powerful microcontroller, a Bluetooth low energy radio network processor, motion sensors, accelerometer and gyroscope, environmental sensors, magnetometer and barometer, and a digital microphone. The sensor tile is part of the sensor tile kit. The sensor tile kit includes two different motherboards that can extend its capabilities the sensor tile cradle board and the sensor tile cradle expansion board. If you want to learn how to assemble the sensor tile, search the Unboxing the Sensor Tile video on YouTube. Once you have assembled your sensor tile, you can connect it to your smartphone. You just need to download and install the STBlueMS app from the iTunes or the Android store. When you are ready, power up your sensor tile and run the STBlueMS app on your smartphone. Connect the sensor tile to the STBMS app. Power up the device and wait until you see the orange LED blinking. Then launch the STBMS app. Push on the Start Discovering button and you will see the device name on the list. In this case, we are running the All MEMS 1 firmware version 3.2.0. Select the device and you will be connected. Plot accelerometer data. Press the plot data icon on the bottom of the screen. Press select feature and scroll until you find a parameter of interest. Let's choose the accelerometer. Select. Scroll to select the time scale for the plot and select. You will see the data in real time. You can now move the device to see variations in the linear acceleration. Let's try up and down, left and right, back and forth. By changing the orientation, the gravity will stimulate a different accelerometer axis. This is why the orientation can be estimated from accelerometer data. Plot magnetometer data. Now press stop plotting. Select feature. Scroll until you find the magnetometer. Select. And again select to confirm the time scale. You can now move the device to see variations in the magnetic field. By changing the orientation, the Earth magnetic field will stimulate a different magnetometer axis. This is why the orientation can be estimated from magnetometer data. You can also use a magnet to induce variations in the field. The measured field will be linked to the distance between the sensors and the magnet. Plot gyroscope data. Now press stop plotting. Select feature. Scroll until you find the gyroscope. Select. And again, select to confirm the time scale. You can now move the device to see variations in the angular velocity. Let's try around the x axis, around the y axis, and around the z axis. By integrating the angular velocity, one can compute the angular position. This is how the orientation can be estimated from gyroscope data. Log inertial data. We will now learn how to log the data. Press the share icon on the top right corner of the screen. A pop-up menu will appear. Select start logging. Make some motion. When you're done, press again the share icon and select stop logging. The app will prepare an email with several attachments. If you have selected an inertial parameters for the plot, you will get the log for all the inertial parameters, accelerometer, gyroscope and magnetometer. The log is a text file in CSV format separated values. Data fusion and orientation estimation. Data from the accelerometer, the gyroscope and the magnetometer can be used to estimate the orientation of the device. This is known as data fusion. 
press the MEMS sensor fusion icon on the bottom of the screen. If there is the need to calibrate, a pop-up window will appear. Press OK and move the device until the icon on the bottom right corner becomes green. Calibration is always running in the ground. Gyroscope calibration can be completed whenever the device is static. On the opposite, magnetometer calibration can only be completed when the device sweeps different orientations. You can now move the device to verify the performance of the orientation estimation. Log data fusion output quaternions. Press the share icon on the top right corner of the screen. A pop-up menu will appear. Select start logging. Move the device as you like. When you're done, press again the share icon and select stop logging. The app will prepare an email with a log in attachment. The log is a text file in CSV format, comma, separated values. The log holds the output of the sensor fusion in compact format, quaternions. The quaternion is a group of four numbers that represents the orientation of the device in a redundant yet effective way. The quaternion can be easily converted to alternative representation, such as rotation matrix or Euler angles, yo, pitch and roll. During this tutorial, we have seen how to use the sensor type development kit to use inertial MEM sensors and verify their performance. I hope you have seen how easy it is to use the sensor tile as an evaluation tool. Thank you for watching. Bye.